Hey everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and this video is for ages 3 to 5. If you're participating in our activities today, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need the worksheet Peter's Dream I Like. And you'll also need the worksheet Celebrate Wonder My Dream Journal Page. In addition, make sure you have some things to color with. And that is all you'll need for today. So go ahead, pause the video to grab those things and we'll be right back. All right, today our Bible story comes from the New Testament, from the book of Acts. Acts, A-C-T-S. And this story is called... Do, 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 do. Peter's Dream. Peter's dream. An angel visited Cornelius. The angel said, send someone to get a man named Peter. So Cornelius sent two servants and a soldier to get Peter. The next day, Peter was sleeping and had a dream. Peter saw a big sheet coming down from heaven. On the sheet were animals that Peter was not supposed to eat. A voice said to Peter, Peter, get up. You can have all these animals to eat. Peter said, No, God, it is unlawful to eat all those animals. They are unclean. I do not eat them. The voice said, Do not think of anything that God makes as unclean. Everything God makes is good. Peter did not understand. Just then, the messengers from Cornelius arrived. The men said, Cornelius wants you to come to this house. Peter and the messengers walked to Cornelius' house. Cornelius was so glad to see Peter that he fell down at Peter's feet. Peter said, Get up, Cornelius. I am no better than you. I am a man just like you are a man. God told me in a dream that every person and every animal that God makes is good. All right, so we got Cornelius, who was told to go find Peter. And then Peter, who just had this dream about all of this food that he was allowed to eat. Now, you have to know that traditionally, Jews like Peter were not allowed to eat certain kinds of food because they were considered unclean. But in his dream, God told him that everything that God makes is clean and everything that God makes is good. So because he knows this about the animals, he also knows this about people. Normally, he wouldn't talk to somebody like Cornelius. But because he knows that God made Cornelius, now he says, Cornelius is good. Everyone is good because God makes everyone and everyone should belong. So this is a very important story. And it goes really well with our faith work, which is belong. And belong means to know you are accepted and included in God's family. Belong. Have you ever had a dream that you didn't understand? Remember, Peter had the dream about all the food. Maybe you've had a dream before that was kind of weird to you. Maybe you've had a dream that was kind of scary. Do you think Cornelius, what, or excuse me, how do you think Cornelius felt when the angel spoke to him? Well, Cornelius was probably pretty confused too, because I'm sure he didn't usually have angels talking to him. In the Bible story today, Peter dreams that it's okay to eat the animals in his dream because everything God makes is good. So let's talk about some foods that you like today. We're going to get out our worksheet, Peter's Dream I Like. Now, if you're like me, then you printed yours out in black and white, so you're going to need to color all of the food that's on this page. Once you're done coloring, I want you to circle all the foods on this page that you like to eat. Maybe some of us um, like to eat just a few things, but maybe some of us like to eat all the things that are on this worksheet. And that's okay. Whatever it is that you like to eat, I want you to circle on your worksheet. And we'll be right back. All right. Well, I have to tell you, I'm one of those people that likes to eat everything. So I have all of those things circled. I think they're all delicious. Uh, maybe you don't, though. Maybe there are a few things that you don't like to eat. Or maybe there are a few things that you haven't tried yet. 
And sometimes when we get older, um, our, our tastes change a little bit. So there might be foods you don't like right now that you'll like when you're older. So make sure you're just always trying new things and you might find that someday you like these foods that you didn't used to like, unless you're allergic to them and then you shouldn't eat them ever. All right. So moving right along, Peter and Cornelius listened to God. Cornelius sent for Peter when the angel spoke to him. Peter went to Cornelius when he was asked to. It's important to listen so we know what we should do. Do you think Peter would have listened if he had been awake when the voice spoke to him? Do you think Cornelius would have listened to the angel if he did not believe in God? Well, he probably wouldn't have listened to the angel if he didn't believe in God, because why would he listen to a God he didn't believe in? Dreams sometimes don't seem real. Imagine if an angel spoke to you. It might not seem real either. You might think you were just imagining it. All right, it's time for us to get out our last worksheet, which is our My Dream Journal page. And based on our story today, we know that God dreams of everyone belonging together. He wants everyone to be friends because he made everyone. Well, maybe not be friends, but he wants everyone to belong to each other and to feel like they belong. So I would like you to draw what it looks like for everyone in God's world to belong. What does that look like? Take some time to draw that and we'll be right back. All right. What does it look like to belong to God's family? Maybe it looks like all sorts of different people being together and sharing life together. Maybe it looks like the whole world being together and sharing life together. Make sure you share that picture with someone in your household today. All right, my friends, it is time to pray. So please repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, help me to bring people together. Help me to bring people together. Remind me that we all belong together. Remind me that we all belong together. We all belong to your family. We all belong to your family. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for coming to Sunday School. We'll see you next time.